So today for the dispatch, we're going to be going down to the first floor, the Bureau of Epidemiology and Public Health Informatics to talk to Greg Crawford about the 25 most requested vital stats for 2012. Well, every year organizations are looking for how many births, how many deaths occurred for program planning, school enrollments, and so we produce the 25 most requested annual table files for consumption by schools, by uh, health departments, all basic count information. And how do you gather all of that information? Well, that's all based on birth and death certificates and other event certificates that are received by the Office of Vital Statistics. We then take that data, cleanse it for completeness, and then compile that into an annual table file and run reports on it. Now, the Bureau of Epidemiology and Public Health Informatics is getting ready to put out an annual report. The annual summary of vital statistics will be coming out here in several weeks. This is a more detailed report than our annual most popular tables because it gives rates. Rates give people the opportunity to look for trends and changes that have occurred in health outcomes during the past years. Uh, what of the 25 most requested vital stats, what is like one that really stood out to you? The one that kind of stands out is the, the deaths. There have been obviously a lot of concern on infant mortality and so we track that very, very closely and we include a table in the most requested tables so that people can see what's going on. Rates are important when we look at infant mortality, but every infant death is, in essence, a sentinel event that we as the community need to react to and, and try and come up with preventive measures. So, you deal a lot with data, and can you kind of tell me, though, what really inspires you in your work? Because a lot of people, it's just about the numbers, but what you were just saying makes it seem like it's more than that. Can you well, talk about well, that? Well, data is a starting point. We gather lots of information about people, places, and things, but it's not until we turn it into information that it becomes valuable. So that aggregation of the information, the reporting of statistics and indicators, and then sharing that information so that people can become more knowledgeable and, and make good public health decisions, maybe personal changes about their life, things that they should be doing in their community to address public health problems. So data is the starting point, but I look more at how that data then helps somebody in the community to affect change. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Greg, for your time, and thank you for thank being you. here for Kansas.